السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ We're here for another episode of Kids Time and as we're carrying on with this, with this series, we are focusing on the Salat prayer. Yes, dear children, as you know, in the past program, we have to do the right way to 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 the right way and the right way to the right way. اور اسی سلسلے کو ہم آگے بڑھاتے ہیں کہ ہمیں نماز جو ہے وہ کس طرح ادا کرنی چاہیے حضم سی مود علیہ السلام کی ایک بہت پیاری سی بات کے ساتھ جو ہے وہ میں شروع کروں گی کہ آپ نے کہا کہ جب بھی آپ کا دعا کرنے کو آپ دعا کرتے ہو یا آپ نماز میں کھڑے ہوتے ہو تو آپ اس طرح کھڑے ہو کہ آپ دل سے کھڑے ہو ہے نا آپ دل سے آپ کو آپ کو یہ یقین ہو کہ آپ اللہ تعالیٰ سے جو مانگ رہے ہو وہ پورا ہوگا اور آپ کو جیسے آپ کو یہ یقین ہوتا ہے کہ ہوا ہے ہے نا آپ ہوا کو دیکھ نہیں سکتے لیکن آپ کو یقین ہے کہ ہوا چلتی ہے جیسے آواز آتی ہے آپ آواز کو محسوس کرتے ہو لیکن کیا آپ آواز کو پکڑ سکتے ہو نہیں نا تو اسی طرح جب آپ اللہ تعالیٰ سے مخاطب ہوتے ہو یا اللہ تعالیٰ سے دعا کرتے ہو آپ نماز میں کھڑے ہوتے ہو تو آپ ہر لفظ اس طرح ادا کرو کہ جیسے واقعی آپ اللہ تعالیٰ سے بات کر رہے ہو ہے نا ہم اللہ تعالیٰ سے بات کر رہے ہیں ہمیں یہ اس طرح اللہ تعالیٰ کے سامنے جھکنا چاہیے ٹھیک ہے We have to do it with full concentration and we have to do it with our heart to know that we are standing before Allah and that we have full faith in that what we are asking from Allah that it will that Allah will, will provide it for us um, and that the way you you can feel the wind but you can't see the wind we can't see the wind can we but we can feel the wind we can feel we can see the effect the wind has on trees we can see the the leaves and the branches blowing we can't see the actual wind in the same way we can't catch sound we can't see sound we can hear it we can understand it um, and in the same way we we understand and we can see the things that allah does for us um, but we can't see allah himself but when we're performing salat when we're um, standing in front of Allah we need to do so with full dedication and full heart that we know that we are standing before our creator last time we have to say that we have to study 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 and today we have to study we have to study we have to study we have to study subhanaka allahumma wa bi hamdika wa tabara kasmuka wa ta'ala jadduka because Allah is one and we can't replace him because he's only one being yeah. and he basically he created everything and we can't replace him because we don't even have the power to create a tiny object yeah so what what we're saying in this is that we're praising Allah aren't we so we're saying that Allah is the most holy the only one that we should praise so we shouldn't be praying or praising anything else except for Allah and we're saying even Allah's name is blessed So it says, and blessed is your name and exalted is your majesty. That's, that means that Allah is so powerful and so majestic. And then we're reminding ourselves there's none to be worshipped except Allah. Yes, what does it mean for the sanah? As Shazibah Ji has also explained that when you are doing the praise of Allah, and when you are doing the praise of Allah, what does it mean for the sanah? Why are you doing the praise of Allah? Why are you doing the praise of Allah? Why are you doing the praise of Allah? چلے اس لیے کرنی چاہیے کہ ہم اللہ تعالیٰ کو 
उसकी खूबियों से पहचाने है ना कि अल्लाह ताला क्या कर सकता है ज़मीन और आसमान का मालिक है है ना सूरज सूरज की जब रोशनी आती है तो वो कौन देता है सूरज खुद से अपनी रोशनी पैदा कर सकता है नहीं ना तो वो कौन देता है वो भी अल्लाह ताला जो है वो सारे सिस्टम को चला रहा है जैसे चाँद की रोशनी है जैसे सारा का, सारी दुनिया का सिस्टम चल रहा है तो वो सारी खूबियाँ जो हैं वो अल्लाह ताला की ज़ात में हैं तो हम अल्लाह ताला को जो है वो उसकी खूबियों से जानते हैं और इसीलिए हम जो है वो अल्लाह ताली की हमद करते हैं the way the moon shines all these the sun can't shine by itself the moon can't shine by itself it's that allah has created a system in place whereby um you know we have days we have nights we know that we we're, we're meant to sleep at night we're meant to go out and do things in the day and allah has created the whole system um to make it in in balance um and that's how we we see the the beauty and the the amazing way that allah has created everything because everything is in balance um and allah says in the quran that you know the day can't overtake the night the night can't overtake the day everything is in its own place and its own way um and that's how allah has created allah hubba salli ala muhammad wa wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim وَأَلَى آلِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ إِنَّكَ حَمِيدٌ مَجِيدٌ اللَّهُمَّ بَارِكْ لَنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَأَلَى آلِ مُحَمَّدٍ كَمَا بَارَكْتَ عَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَأَلَى آلِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ إِنَّكَ حَمِيدٌ مَجِيدٌ جزاك الله حديث ا مدبر كده سالت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم اي العمل احب الى الله قال الصلاه على وقتها جزاك الله ترانسليشن ناهيا I asked the holy prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم which action is dearest to Allah he answered performance of salat at its right time jazakalla urdu translation barira maine aaj us sallallahu alaihi wasallam se pucha ki kaun kaun sa amal allah taala ko pasand hai aaj us sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne jawab diya namaz ko uske waqt par padhna ji uske waqt par ada karna raza mein raza It means that you have to um read namaz at its correct time so not like late or too early exact time. Mm-hmm. So one example of this might be fajr prayer and sometimes it's quite early in the morning or a bit later it changes its time doesn't it. So we have to really try hard to wake up at the correct time to read our fajr prayer because it's not easy. It's not easy as it to wake up in the middle of the night um to get up to pray and that's why in the azan for fajr there's a line which says as-salatu khairum min an-nawm do you know what that means um yes daniel prayer is better than sleep yeah. so if you heard that in the middle of the night or you woke up and you can hear somebody saying prayer is better than sleep you can't stay sleeping after that can you So you have to remember that that's one of the things you have to do at the right time. And sometimes it's you think oh well it's easy just to do my zuhur and asr at the same time together. That's much easier I can I can then get on with doing the rest of the things. But if we can it is much much better to do the prayers at their right times. So Allah has given us five times of the day where we pray. So we should pray the five times of the day. We shouldn't say, well, we Allah has given us the opportunity to do zuhur and asr together. We'll just do it. We don't just do it because it's easy for us. There's particular times and um uh, things that which are, we are allowed to do, but it's much much better to do them at their right time. 
جی اور یہ بھی کہتے ہیں کہ اپنی نمازوں کو جو ہے وہ سوار سوار کر جو ہے وہ ادا کرو مطلب آپ کو انتظار کرنا چاہیے کہ کہ اب میں نے فجر کی نماز ادا کرنی ہے میں نے اس کے لیے اٹھنا ہے پھر ظہر کی نماز اثر مغرب شا اس طرح آپ نے آپ کو انتظار ہونا چاہیے بجائے اس کے کہ آپ کہو کہ آج جو ہے وہ ظہر اثر جمع کر لیتا ہوں یا مغرب شا جمع کر لیتا ہوں بعض دفعہ بچوں کو پرابلم بھی ہوتا ہے کہ چلو طبیعت ٹھیک نہیں آئی یا اسکول سے لیٹ ہو گئے تو اس کنڈیشن میں ٹھیک ہے آپ جمع کر سکتے ہیں لیکن اس کو ہیبٹ نہیں بنانی چاہیے ہے نا They do make arrangements for you to, to have a separate pa- prayer room depending on your age and depending on the school. So in some schools it is possible to do your prayer, your salat at the correct time. Um, but if it is not available for you, then Allah has given us the... Allah says that, you know, he, he doesn't make religion very hard for it. doesn't make Islam hard for us. He makes it easy for us. So if we have... If we are not able to, to do it at the right time, then we are allowed to join it together. But it is much better to do it at the correct time. جی آپ اپنے ٹیچرس کو جو ہے وہ بتا سکتے ہیں کہ نماز کا ٹائم ہے اور آپ نماز پڑھنا چاہتے ہیں تو وہ آپ کو الاؤٹ کرتے ہیں کہ آپ جا کے پریئر روم میں آپ اپنی نماز جو ہے وہ ٹائم پر ادا کریں اگر آپ اپنی نمازوں کو اہمیت دیں گے ہے نا آپ اپنے ریلیجن کو اہمیت دیں گے کیونکہ جیسے دوسرے لوگ اپنی عبادات کرتے ہیں ہے نا چرچ جاتے ہیں یہ وہ تو اس طرح آپ کا بھی فرض بنتا ہے کہ آپ جو ہے وہ ان کی ادائیگی وقت کر وقت کے اوپر کریں So that doesn't take long. It's only a, a few minutes out of the day and everybody has a lunch hour. If they work or if they go to school, whatever they're doing, they will have a lunch hour. So you have time within your day um, to do your Zohar prayers. Normally, by the time you come home, there is time still to do your Asr prayers, depending on, on where you live, which country and the timings of your school and when it goes dark. So there is opportunities to do your prayer at the right time. جی اور اس کے علاوہ اگر کسی وجہ سے آپ کی نماز قضا ہو گئی ہے تو آپ نے چھوڑ نہیں دینی کہ اچھا ابھی میں شام کو گھر پہنچاؤں تو میں نہیں پڑھتا یا میں چھوڑ دیتا ہوں آپ نے نماز ضرور ادا کرنی ہے ٹھیک ہے چاہے آپ کو رات کیوں نہ ہو جائے آپ نے نماز ضرور ادا کرنی ہے اس دن کی ٹھیک ہے is not a difficult religion so Islam says that if you're on a journey you can pray on a journey if you're you know don't have anywhere you know clean to do so that you can do um, your prayer sitting down if you are you know on a car in a car or on a train or on a bus you can do your prayer anywhere you you need to um, obviously it's best to do it in a in a proper clean place where you can have a prayer mat and you can you can you can pray in that way but if you don't have those facilities available you can pray anywhere جی یہ تو تھا ہمارا دعا اور حدیث کا سیکشن اور اب ہم جنرل نالج کی طرف جاتے ہیں ہم نے لاسٹ پروگرام سے جو ہے وہ بچوں کو کہا تھا کہ وہ آپس میں ڈسکس کرے اور آج ہمارے جنرل نالج کا ٹاپک ہے فرینڈ شپ تو یو نو فرام لاسٹ پروگرام وی آر گیٹنگ بٹ مور انٹریکٹو دا چلڈرن آر آر دم سیلس پرزینٹنگ دس پارٹ آف دا پروگرام اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی وی آر ٹوکنگ اباؤٹ فرینڈ شپس وی وانٹ ٹو Um, have topics which are relevant to the children themselves um, and therefore we think this is a very relevant topic for the children themselves to discuss. So should we start with the boys? My name is Daniel Saeed and I'm going to talk about friends. What are the qualities of a good friend? That they don't lie and, and they're trustworthy. Mudabir, do you have any um, thoughts to... They should be respectful and they should be kind. Do you think any of you have those qualities that, that have been mentioned? Um, Raza? Yes, uh, my, my friends uh, are respectful, they're truthful. Um, are we allowed to make friends from any religion? Naveed? I think we are allowed to make friends from different religion, religions because we can learn about their religion as well as they can learn about ours as well. Um, does anyone have any different thoughts? Um, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter on the religion, it, it matters about their behaviour and it, it matters if they're, if they're good people and they're not bad and your parents know them because if you hide them then you never know they could be bad. If a friend breaks up with you, how do you make up with them? 
<coughs> Naveed? I think you should apologize to them and um, say sorry because you might say rude, something rude to them. Um, Davi, do you have anything to add? Um, you should wait for them to calm down a little bit and then after you can ask them to be friends of you again. Okay. Should our parents know about all our friends? Ayaz? Yes, because if you call them to your house and your mum and dad don't know about them um, they c and they don't know their behaviour, if they had a beha bad behaviour and you call them over to your house, they could do some, they could break um, a glass or break something. What is a bad friend like? Mudabir. <coughs> they are untrust, they're not trustworthy and they don't tell the truth. This is different बच्चे होते हैं उनकी different habits होती हैं है ना कुछ बच्चे जो हैं वो उनकी language अच्छी नहीं होती है है ना अपनी language में वो bad words शामिल कर लेते हैं और वो जब continuously वो लव्स बोलते जाते हैं तो वाइस्टा इस्टा आपकी language में भी आ जाते हैं है ना ये भी चीजें हो सकती हैं कुछ बच्चों को जो है वो झूठ बोलने की आदत होती है है ना तो आप भी उनके साथ मिलके जो है वो चीजें हाइड करना शुरू हो जाते हैं अब अपने घर से बातें छुपाना शुरू हो जाते हैं तो ऐसी चीजें भी हो सकती हैं कुछ बच्चों को चोरी करने की भी आदत हो सकती है उनसे बचना चाहिए या जो बच्चे जो हैं वो हमें गलत चीजों की तरफ गलत काम करने का कहते हैं वो भी बैड फ्रेंड्स में आते हैं ना बैड फ्रेंड्स इट कैन बी अ रेंज ऑफ थिंग्स यू नो पीपल दैट दैट यूज you know, bad language in their talking. If you stay with people like that a lot, then it's a possibility that you will also start uh, behaving like them or, or talking like them. Um, some ch children haven't been brought up to tell the truth. Um, and so if we, we um, spend a lot of time with them, then we start to pick up some of their bad habits. That's the type of friend that we're, the of type of people that we shouldn't really um, um, associate with because otherwise we don't want to take on the bad, their bad characteristics. Should you tell your friends secrets? Um, Naveed? I think you shouldn't tell your friends secrets because you, um, if you tell someone your secret, they could spread it around and your stuff could get ruined or, um, yeah. Okay, um, does anyone have a different answer? Raza? No, they could spread it and do rumours about it. So what we're talking about is so sometimes there might be some personal information about your families and things that you don't want everybody to know. So in those circumstances, you know, those are things that you shouldn't um, be, be telling anyone um, apart from your own family members that you can, you can discuss these things with. I think it depends on if they're trustworthy or not, because if they're trustworthy, th do you know that they're not going to spread the secret around? Well, it, it depends on what the secret is and how important it is to you. And it also depends on if it's something that, that you, it might be um, something about somebody else and then it would end up being something which is backbiting, which we're, we're not allowed to do. So talking about somebody else behind their back. So it depends exactly what it is, the secret. If it's, you know, um, a simple secret that you like, um, something that you don't want anybody else to know about, then that's different to um, telling somebody about something, somebody else. और वो सिर्फ बात ये कि अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ जो है वो आपको आपके पेरेंट्स जो हैं वो आपके सबसे पहले दोस्त होने चाहिए है ना क्योंकि हो सकता है कोई ऐसा सीक्रेट जो हो जो जिससे आपको नुकसान पहुंच रहा हो है ना और आप अपनी फैमिली को या अपने पेरेंट्स को नहीं बताते हैं तो उससे किसका नुकसान होगा आपका ही नुकसान होगा ना है ना तो फिर हमें क्या करना चाहिए अगर थोड़ी बहुत छोटी मोटी चीजें होती हैं ठीक है अगर आप थोड़े नोटी बने हो और आपने वो सीक्रेट एक दूसरे के साथ रखना है तो ऑल राइट है लेकिन अगर कोई बड़ी चीज है तो फिर आपको जो है वो जरूर अपने पेरेंट्स को सबसे पहले बतानी चाहिए
Um, that's the end of the boys' discussion on friends. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Belila Farouk, and I'm going to be talking to the girls about uh, some friends and friendship problems. So, um, are we allowed to borrow things from our friends? Um, you can, um, because if they're like re your best best friend and they're really trustworthy, then you can um, they can borrow something from you. Smita, do you agree with this? Yes. Um, um, I think with borrowing from friends, you have to make sure that it's not something that's very expensive, because if you borrow something from somebody and then it breaks, or you lend something to somebody else and it breaks, um, then you've got to be very, very careful with other people's things. Um, and also, you know, you shouldn't be borrowing money from each other. You shouldn't be giving money or borrowing money, and you shouldn't be sharing your lunches. So those are things that you should make sure that you're eating your own lunches, you're not borrowing expensive things from people and you're not borrowing or lending money. Yes, as Shadi Bhaji said, you can share things, but you can like share the things that you have to do with your school, like a copy, pencil, etc. But you can share things with your friends, you don't want to take money from your friends. And the other things you can take, you can share them with your friends, you can use them again. You can use them again, 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 um, are we allowed sleepovers with friends? So just Nahia. to clarify, sleepover is staying yes. the night over at somebody else's yeah. house. Uh, Nahia? Um, you can have a sleepover with anyone if only you have to check with your parents, otherwise trouble may occur. Mm -hmm. Smita, do you have anything? Uh, your parents might not agree with you and mm, yeah, they, will dis they, might dis they, will, they won't agree with you. They might not agree with you, and maybe they won't know who the person is. Okay. So well, for this, this is something which you have to refer back to your parents. Um, some will not allow you to have sleepovers at all because they, they're not happy with you staying in somebody else's house or have somebody else staying in your house. And some may agree if it's a very, very close friend or, or a family member that they may, your parents may agree to this. Okay. So you should try to do your job and finish your work and finish your work and finish your work. And you should try to do this. If you go and you work for a long time, then you have to talk a long time. And you have to talk a long time. So you try to do this. So 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 try to do this. What if a friend makes fun of you and you, when you don't listen to them because they are trying to make you do something bad? Smita? I would just ignore them. I wouldn't do the wrong thing. Okay, <coughs> Nasha, do you have any thoughts to this? <coughs> well, when you ignore them, try not to um, act too bothered about it. Just walk away. And in this, what we're talking about... You know, if your friends ask you to do something that's wrong and then you, you don't do it and they start to make fun of you that you haven't done this. So one thing is, is that, you know, they're not a true friend, they're not a good friend if they're trying to make you do something bad. Um, and of course, you know, the best way is, is just to ignore, the, ignore them um, and, and not let it get to you. It is hard. It's not, hard. It's not easy and doing the right thing all the time. Um, I'm sure it's not at all easy, is it? Um, doing the right thing all the time. But it depends on what it is um, and how, how bad it is. You know, are you going to get in trouble? Is it going to hurt somebody else? Those are all things you have to, to look at. जी कोशिश करनी चाहिए कि आप अपने ऊपर कंट्रोल करें है ना ऐसी छोटी छोटी चीज़ों पे अगर आप अभी से कंट्रोल करना सीखेंगे तो जब आप बड़े हो जाएंगे तो बड़ी बड़ी चीज़ें जो हैं उन पे कंट्रोल करना आसान हो जाएगा कैन बॉयज मेक फ्रेंड्स विद गर्ल्स और कैन गर्ल्स मेक फ्रेंड्स विद बॉयज होता I don't think so because boys and girls are very different and they might not want to do the same thing when they play together and uh, how they act can be very different. Okay. Smita, do you have anything to add? Well, um, boys and girls play different games. So, um, like, boys play rough and girls play, like, more, um, less rough games. Okay. Do you have any thoughts to this now here? Well, if you are little, then you can. But when, once you grow up, you need to understand the difference. Okay. 
Has a friend of yours ever made you, ever made you stop from doing something bad? Naya? Acha dosto. इसका मतलब है अच्छा दोस्त वो होता है जो आपको गलत कामों से रोके है ना जो आपको कहे चलो चलो बुरे काम करते हैं वो फिर अच्छा दोस्त तो नहीं हुआ ना है ना आपको नाइसली बताना चाहिए अगर आपके अगर आपके किसी फ्रेंड में कोई ऐसी हैबिट है या कोई वो ऐसी बात करता है तो आपको उसको छोड़ नहीं देना चाहिए आप उसको नाइसली आप उसको बताओ कि अच्छा इस तरह करना ठीक नहीं है इस तरह नहीं करना चाहिए आपको झूठ नहीं बोलना चाहिए है ना गलत बात नहीं करनी चाहिए किसी को हर्ट नहीं करना चाहिए अगर आप प्यार से समझाओगे अपने दोस्त को आपको शाय नहीं फील होना चाहिए कि ओ आपका दोस्त हर्ट हो जाएगा आपको नहीं बताना चाहिए लेकिन अगर आप उसको अच्छी बात बताओगे तो हो सकता है वो फ्यूचर में आपको थैंक्स कहे कि हाँ आपने मुझे एक अच्छी बात सिखाई थी Well, and when we were at school, um, and my two friends they were fighting together while they were playing this tennis game, and then um, I said to my one of my friends, "Stop fighting with the other, with the other friend," and then, and then I told the other person to stop fighting, and then, and then we came back into class, and then a few days later, um, I said to them, "Can you say sorry to each other?" And then they did. So you can act as the peacemaker. You can sort out problems for when when other friends are are fighting or arguing. Then you can try and get involved. But it's best not to do it at the time because everybody's might be a bit angry. It's better to give it some time and some distance, and then you can go and try and solve the problem. After these discussions, do you think you should you need to make any changes regarding friends, Anaya? Um, well. As of my friends, they they're not really like best friends, and I want to make them my my best best friends. So to do that, I'm going to like play with them more often, and um like if I do something bad, like a little thing, then I'll just say sorry. Hey, Huda, do you have anything to add to this? Well, my friend is quite quiet, and she doesn't talk so much. So I want her to talk more to me because sometimes in group work she doesn't talk, and I don't like it. So I want my friend to talk a lot so she I, she can actually tell her feelings to me because mostly I don't understand how she feels. Okay. Now here, do you have uh, any? Did you learn anything new today in this discussion? Well, there. um all about how what um what personality some friends have so in our discussion what we were looking at is that um everyone has may have problems with their friends um and it's very important that you you choose the right friends that your families your parents get to know who your friends are um and that your parents can can also be involved in 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 you deciding which are the the right people to become friends with because the people that you are um playing with the people that you are spending a lot of time with at school um those people can influence you in doing good things or doing bad things so that's very very important acha wo bacche jo mt par dekh rahe hain unhone bhi aaj ki discussion suni hai aur wo bhi agar jo hai wo iska hissa banna chahte hain aur apni rai jo hai wo dena chahte hain ki unka friendship ke bare mein kya khayal hai तो वो भी हमें ईमेल कर सकते हैं हमें ख़त लिख सकते हैं हम पूरी कोशिश करेंगे कि हम आ, उनकी राय जो है वो प्रोग्राम में शामिल कर सकें तो आ, आप हमें ईमेल मेल लिख कर सकते हैं आप हमें ख़त लिख सकते हैं हमारा ईमेल एड्रेस है किड्स टाइम एट एम डॉट टी और पोस्टल एड्रेस है किड्स टाइम वन एट वन लंडन रोड मॉडर्न सरे पोस्ट कोड है एस एम फोर फाइव बी टी इसके अलावा आप YouTube के ऊपर भी देख सकते हैं आप टाइप कीजिए एम टी ए ऑनलाइन वन किड्स टाइम अपना बहुत ख्याल रखिएगा अगले हफ्ते एक नए प्रोग्राम के साथ हाजिर होंगे तब तक के लिए अस्सलाम असलकम वरहि वबरकू